What is up, everybody? Today I have the Boulder Globetrotter GMT. Now, if you're looking at this and you're saying, man, that looks a little bit familiar, that is because it is based off the Boulder Odyssey, which I reviewed here. You might have seen it here or you might have seen it elsewhere. You might own one, whatever. The Boulder Odyssey, though, was a 45.5 millimeter case. This is sized down a little to 44 millimeters. The crown is also moved from the 3 o'clock position to the 4 o'clock position. And the bezel is very, very different as well. Uh, not only just the uh, Pepsi GMT aspect of it, but the outside edge of it as well. Um, this is far more grippy, uh, grippier. It's kind of reminiscent of Doxa with these grips in here. Um, only this one would be uh, on steroids, if you will, uh, very enlarged. Now at 44 by 52 millimeters, 13.5 millimeters thick, 22 millimeter lugs and it has an ETA 2893-2 elaborate grade automatic movement. It sounds still like a big watch, but it really doesn't play like that on the wrist to be honest. Um, and when I say big, I, I put that in perspective. 44 millimeters, uh, you know, 52 millimeter lug to lug is a little um, on the larger side for me these days. This is small for a lot of people of course though too. Now, right now I am wearing this Mido Ocean Star, if you follow on IG, you've seen this. This is a 42.5 millimeter watch, very thin as you could see. Uh, so this one is still a thicker, chunkier watch, but man, it really does not feel or wear like it on the wrist. Now, speaking of it on the wrist though, let's take a look here at this gigantic rubber strap that comes with it. Now, this is a fitted ends rubber strap, which is very nice. And you do have that nice dive buckle. It has the ratchet extension clasp on it. So very nice there. But there are a couple of issues which I'm going to discuss about this rubber strap. A couple of things. One, if you've seen the video on this, I did an unboxing video of this on Instagram for IGTV. You can go over to our IG. It is at Watch Report. And you can find that video if you'd like to take a quick look at it. Uh, it was the first video we did, and uh, it was uh, done with a handheld cell phone uh, before I decided we were going to move forward with that. So uh, a little shaky, but if you want to check that out. Now the box and the packaging that it comes in, this watch is all separate. The head is separate from the rubber strap, and the clasp is separate from the rubber strap as well. Which means you got to put it all together to be able to wear it. Then after, so you get the watch all put together. Then you're going to have to go ahead and cut it. And, you know, measure twice, cut once. You're going to have to cut and then, you know, put it on your wrist and uh, see where you're at. Now, I have a seven and a half inch wrist. <laughs> Let me just show here if I can. I could fit this on without even having to open up the buckle. This is how giant this rubber strap is, and I purposely didn't cut it for this reason. Um, I actually wore this on another rubber strap. Of course, any 22 millimeter rubber strap will work. Uh, of course, it won't have these fitted pieces, but it doesn't look too bad at all, actually, with a regular strap on there as well. So I wanted to show you just the massiveness of this bracelet. Obviously, if you have like, you know, a wrist the size of Andre the Giant, um, this is probably going to fit. If you have a very small wrist, you are going to be doing a lot of cutting. And the one thing about these rubber straps, and then I'll move on from the rubber strap aspect of this, but the one thing about the rubber straps like this is that when you cut them, now if, you know, say six months down the road, you want to sell the watch, well, now you got to find somebody that has your own wrist size. And also, I just... It's a little odd to me that if you do sell the watch, if you, if you, you know, give it on to somebody else, whatever you do with it, um, you want, you know, if you can't store it in the packaging that it comes with either, because you have to take the rubber strap off. You have to take the buckle off because that is how the compartments are set up in the packaging. Um, it is like a Pelican style case. And that's what you would have to do if you wanted to store it in a set case. But let's go ahead and move on. Take a look at this all satin brush case thing you can see the edges of the bezel are high polished this is a gmt with an independent gmt hand so we'll go ahead and show you you move the date there clockwise 
counterclockwise will move that independent GMT hand. Of course, you have this bezel. Notice this bezel makes like no noise. There's no play in this GMT bezel. There is no play at all whatsoever, but it's just very smooth, makes no clicking at all whatsoever. Let's go ahead here and give you a closer look at this dial and those markers. Go ahead and uh, move this hand out of the way. Move this hand out of the way. Give you a closer look there. Give you a closer look here at the case. Excuse the smudges and uh, fingerprints. This is a natural rubber strap, by the way. Take a look at the case back here. So, as I said, this is similar in a lot of ways to that Balder Odyssey. But, the, you know, if that one was a little too big for you, this is smaller. A little bit smaller. Um, and it does fit a little bit better on the wrist, in my opinion. Did I actually show it to you <laughs> on my wrist? Here's what it's going to look like. Obviously, this crown is uh, unscrewed here. But here's what it's going to look like on my 7.5-inch wrist, just to give you an idea. And it really does wear very comfortably. But if you like this and you want to pick one up, I'll have a link in the description below. Now, you want to see more about this, you want to see more of my thoughts and comments, go ahead and click the link down below in the description as well. I'll take you over to watchreport.com. I'll have a full article, lots of pictures. I'll talk a little bit more uh, in depth about this. There are other variations as well. If you don't like the Pepsi uh, version of it, there is a the Batman version of it, which is black and blue. And then there is the World Time version. So instead of having... The 24-hour uh, GMT, you have the world time zones all around the bezels. And there are two variations of this. And this watch, which was originally a Divers Watch Facebook group exclusive, um, they did, I think there was only one variation of it. I could be wrong. But that's where this watch started. And then they started producing regular um, versions of these that uh, everybody could have, if you will. Now... I want to make this clear, as I always try and do. Boulder has given a discount code. It is going to be Watch Report 10. You enter that at checkout. We'll save you 10%, not $10, because uh, that would be cheap. The price is $831, so knock 10% off of that. So it's going to be about $83, $85 altogether. Um, so it'll bring it down uh, well under $800 if you are interested in this. And uh, moving things around here, what's going on? But I want to make this clear. They offer that code. We are no way here to sell you the watch. I just, I don't care if you buy this watch. I want to make that perfectly clear. I'm here to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. And um, I should not be, you know, number one or uh, an expert, if you will, or anything. And I'm not trying to downplay my credibility here. But the point is, is I don't want you buying a watch because I said so. I think that's ridiculous. Buy a watch because you like it and because you've done your research. Let me go ahead here and give you a quick loom shot. Here is what that loom is going to look like. BGW9 Super Luminova used all around the ceramic bezel insert. Very, very nicely applied and very, very bright. Now... Before I wrap up this video, one thing I do want to point out quickly here is I just went and measured this again. And on the Boulder website, they list this as 50 millimeter lug to lug. Now, I'm not sure if they're measuring pin to pin uh, for your, uh, your lug pin in there. And maybe that's what they're measuring. I'm actually measuring tip to tip and I'm getting 52 millimeters. And just to double check that my calipers were working properly, I went and measured nine to three, and I do get 44 millimeters, which is what is listed on the Boulder Supply website as well. Uh, not much more to say here. Um, honestly, this is the, I think this is the nicest looking Boulder watch that they have produced yet. Um, it's clean, it's crisp, you have that Pepsi GMT, which is very, very bribant, uh, vibrant, and I hope those colors, it is a really nice deep blue and red, I hope that is coming across on camera here. 
Um, you know, barring this rubber strap, I'm not a big fan of that cutting the rubber strap and everything. I'm sure once you get it all cut and you have that nice deployant dive buckle, it's going to be very comfortable. Uh, personally, I'd be putting this on another strap though for me, but this is a very nice watch. Yes, $831. You're obviously getting a lot of watch for that $831. And to be honest, uh, of all the watches that I review here, uh, price wise, I mean, I, I can't really knock this for the price, uh, you know, between the movement, um, you know, the new additions that they've done to this watch and everything else, just the look, the quality and the fit. I mean, I've reviewed basic three hand watches that are seven, seven hundred and fifty, eight hundred dollars here. So I think with what all this offers, I can't argue the price. And honestly, my only nitpick so far is going to be that rubber strap and just how you have to cut it and the whole packaging issue that it comes separate. But, uh, and even this date wheel, I know maybe somebody will be like, but Don, that date is at the 4 o'clock position. You hate that. That's not true. I hate the date at the 4.30 position where it's right here and it starts cutting into the dial and it just looks all out of place. They went with a white on black date wheel and they made the 4 o'clock marker shorter and then put that date there. And it actually blends in nicely and still has symmetry uh, to the case. So, as I said, if you want to check out more, go ahead and click the link in the description. Save 10% using Watch Report 10 if you choose to do so. I'll have a link to the Boulder site down below. It's been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, giving you a look at the new Boulder Globetrotter GMT. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.